Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Lisa. Thanks for joining me here today at the Crafty Corner. Today we are going to be making this very cute little woven llama. Come um, into the library and pick up your packets. In your packet you are going to have a cardboard cutout of a llama and some white and some very beautiful green yarn. Okay, for um, the other objects that you need to do this llama is some markers and some scissors. So it's pretty easy and you can be really creative with how you decorate your llama. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your white yarn and I have already notched the llama's belly with little, um, little tiny slats. And so you're going to find your end of your white and you're going to push that down in and go straight down to the other side. Once you have turned it over, you're going to want to go ahead and make a knot. Now, boys and girls, you might need some help with this if you're not really good at tying knots. So you're going to want to secure that off and cut off any ends. And then we're just going to take this yarn and go through all of those little notches. Now, you don't want to pull it extremely tight because then it's going to be hard to weave. You don't want it too loose because then it's going to sag. So just go nice and easy up and down, up and down, not pulling too tight as you go. And this is going to create the loom part for you to weave your little blanket on your llama. So we're just going to keep going and you're going to have plenty of white to be able to go through all those slats. I think there's another one there. Okay. And then we're going to turn it over. I'm going to make a little cut here and we're going to tie this off as well. Make a little knot back there so that that doesn't go anywhere. Once you have that white, you're going to take your um, yarn, whichever color um, you have. And in most of my packets, you have this very beautiful bluish green. Some packets are going to have some purple. So you're just going to want to go under and over and under and over. Now, if you've tied this too tight, it's gonna be hard to do, but we are going to weave this little guy, okay? And we're just going to keep weaving all the way to the end, okay? So we're gonna pull this through, okay? So we're gonna pull him through once you get it on there, and we're just going to keep weaving all the way down. This part's going to take a while, but it's going to look really cool when you are done. So you're going to pull that all the way through. Try to make it sort of tight. Okay, I think I'm going to have to pull more over here. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and do a couple strands here so you guys can see what it's like. I'm going to get to the other end here. And well, this time we're going to go under and pull it over. If you had a needle, a, um, a big fat um, eyed needle, that might be a, a good thing to use. But I'm just using my fingernails here to make the little blanket. So now we're going to go the other direction, go underneath and over and under and over and under. Um, you can use a little toothpick or a pencil maybe to help you, especially as you get near the bottom of the blanket. Okay. Let's do a couple more strands. You guys get the idea. You're just going to want to just keep going um, until we get all the way to the end. We're just going to weave his little blanket. Um, if you don't like the color yarn that I've provided, you can get your own or you could even um, mix and match so that it has different colors on his little blanket. Llamas are pretty neat animals. They're not naturally here in the United States, although some people like to raise them, okay, because they are furry and have some great wool on them. So we're just going to keep weaving. I'm going to go a couple more times and then we're going to tie it off. And then we're going to decorate the rest of the llama. As you can see, I'm having a little difficulty there getting that one to go under. This is a little tricky, but I know you can do it. And I do have some tape here. You can always put a little tape on the end of the yarn 
so that it doesn't fray and that might help too keep your yarn easy um, and a little stiff on the end almost as if it were a needle okay so let's go the other direction now under over okay weaving can be a lot of fun you can do it with paper or with yarn different things okay and let's go ahead and go back the other direction and then we're going to tie this off just give him a little short blanket on this example but you guys have got the idea so when you get all the way to the end Okay, preferably you're going to go all the way down, but right now I'm just going to stop. And what you're going to do is take your end and you're going to make a loop. Okay, and then you're going to take your string, or your yarn here, and go back through the loop. And that's going to create a little knot. Well, it should <laughs> create a little knot there, and then you can tie it off and cut it off so it doesn't hang loose. Okay, so now I've got a little knot there, and I can cut it off, tuck it up underneath if you want, and you're going to need to do the same with the beginning area that you started with. Just make a circle, make a little knot, pull it tight, okay, and so then it's not going to come loose. Boys and girls, you probably have to have your parents help you with this part. I'm going to tuck that underneath, okay, and pull it through. Okay, and that creates a knot and you can cut that off and then it will not unravel for you okay so now that you've got his little blanket you're going to want to put eyes and i just drew some little beady eyes okay for a mouth uh, you can make his little nose okay and give him a little smile now i did on my other example i took my black marker and sort of outlined the whole llama. That's something else you can do to create a little bit of depth here. You can give him some little hooves. Okay, they have little toes. Take your black marker and do that. Okay. Now, um, might be interesting if you wanted to, you could maybe even take some um, cotton and shred it. Or what I did was just draw a whole bunch of little slap marks like this to show the fur on the llama. Okay, you can also draw like a little necklace on the llama to give him some color. Draw some little beads on here. Guess if you were real creative, you maybe could hang a string or something on there and bead it. Just some different ideas for helping create your llama. Um, most times we go ahead and do a little bit of the llama fur, pink little llama fur up in his ears. Okay, so now he's got this beautiful string of lights on him, or beads, and he looks quite gorgeous. All right, boys and girls, today I have showed you how to make this beautiful little woven llama. I hope you will come on down to the library and grab a packet and make a llama. Now, boys and girls, I'll see you again next week for another craft. Bye now.